Bark. Bark. So this is Chelsea's um Valentine's present. And I am gonna finish getting ready. <sighs> so I thought that she went to lunch at twelve. Which she goes to lunch about the same time every day. Like I thought I woke up this morning thinking that she was going to lunch at eleven. I was like, oh I gotta be there at eleven. Well, it's like 10.30, which, I mean, I can make it there easily and not even have to, like, worry about being there. But I wanted to pick up a couple of things just to make, you know, Valentine's Day a little bit more special. And plus, somebody, uh, did something very bad to me at the Walmart in Woodruff. So, I gotta fix that. Yeah, I love human, um... Human meanness. But me and I'm gonna call him Roscoe. Me and Roscoe gotta go clean out the uh, car so that Chelsea can actually fit in it and so that Roscoe here can fit in the car. And we'll we'll be on our way to uh, go pick her up a couple more things. Hey guys, so we on the road. Uh, how much we got uh, Roscoe here? I got him bundled up so he doesn't fly around in my car. To uh, Wally World, and if they got what I want, I'm gonna pick Chelsea up probably some balloons and some flowers, stuff like that. Um, but if Wally World doesn't have what I want to fix my car, then I'm gonna um, get old trash supply, see if they got anything. Uh, surely Wally World's got what I want, though. But, um, yeah, long story short, whenever I was at Walmart uh, Thursday, I 
go into uh, like I go in to get the truck painted and I knew what I wanted I want kind of like a black with like a really dark gray just something you could only really see the two-tone in the day you know just it was like a little cool factor thing my dad on the other hand was like you need to be able to see the two-tone I'm like well I'm paying for the paint job he's like well that's stupid for you to do that so anyway my dad picked the damn color and I was furious because I'm like, I'm paying for this pay job. I want my color that I want. Well, the color that he picked out turned out to be a damn army green. So then the guy's like, I kind of know what you want. I'll just put like a dark gray on it. You know, I'll put like um, uh, a graphite color on it. I'm like, fine. Just do whatever the hell you want. I mean, I had the perfect color picked out. Everything like that. I mean, it's just a clusterfuck from the get-go. And then I got my truck back and it was damn orange peel. I go and get it re-sprayed by them because I'm like, this is shit. And then there's over spray everywhere. And I mean, it's, it was just a huge pain in the ass. But, I mean, even now, whenever I talk about paint, my dad's like, well, I don't see why you're going with that color. And I'm like, because I'm paying for it. I'm paying for it. My color that I want. And I'm going with the color of my RX-8 because I like a sparkle. I do like a sparkle. And the RX-8 had a good sparkle. But anyway, this is, I, I'm, I, I don't like getting stuff painted. Um, and the issue with the actual painting part is overspray. And they're like, yeah, there's probably going to be a little bit of overspray. And I'm like, well, okay. You know, not a big deal. I can get it off the windows and, you know, whatever. Hopefully they don't get over spray on my tires or my wheels. Surely to God not. But anyway, you know, over spray is you're probably going to be with the top. One thing that you can't take a razor blade to or a paint thinner to, a top. So I'm going to wait, try and hold it out until after I get the car painted to get a new top because there's no use of me spending like six, seven hundred dollars for a new top just for having to uh, over, over spray it. And also, if you can't tell, by the way, I'm talking. <coughs> I did have a little tickle on my throat. I'm good to go. Like, last video, I had, like, cuts in my mouth and stuff like that. I'm all good now. I'm all good. I'm able to talk. I'm able to go little, 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 little. Cop. If I 
need something, I know I can count on him. So, 20 bucks, not really, you know, doing him any justice, but it keeps him happy because he's like, well, I didn't get you nothing now. I'm like, well, you know, it's only 20 bucks. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Well, still, don't give me nothing else. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, you know, if you got a younger brother, get your brother something for his birthday. Get him something for Christmas. I mean, just let him know you even if you hate your little brother, I mean, me and my little brother, we used to, like, hate each other. I mean, hate each other. Me and him were talking about it the other night. There was times where, like, and I don't know if he ever really hated me, but I used to hate him. But, I mean, we were talking about it last night, and he's like, that there was times, you know, that you would not talk to me for three, four weeks. I'm like, yeah, I know. He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I hated your ass. <laughs> he's like, why? I said, you were annoying. <laughs> But, you know, you, you get older, you start realizing how much he actually means to you, and you start realizing how much he's there for you. I mean, I can call him up right now and be like, hey, you want to do this with me? And he'll be like, yeah, man, let's go. So, just do something nice for your brothers, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We're on Valentine's Day, and I'm talking about loving each other. <laughs> Very appropriate. All right, well, I'm at Wally World. I'm going to hopefully not see people that I've seen and I haven't seen since like high school or whatever and um, pick Chelsea up some stuff and my car up some stuff. Okay, so I didn't pick up my brother or anything. I did pick up my stuff for my car and my little tape. I'm going to try some like really sticky double side tape. It's duct tape brand. Um, while I was in there, I didn't pick Chelsea up any balloons, but I picked her up a um, bouquet, bouquet, whatever, however the hell you pronounce it of roses, my mom, a, um, my mom some flowers, and her mom some flowers, and my mom a vase, and her mom a vase. My car is loaded down. But anyway, I'm gonna go run these flowers by my mom, and, uh, then probably Chelsea will be, um, done with, um, her patience and then me and her can go to our lunch date and then uh whenever we leave her work her mom's office is on the way to the place that we're gonna eat is only like another like minute or so out of the way so we'll probably just stop by her mom's office and um give her her flowers um i don't really want to go into her mom's office alone and give her flowers because that kind of look weird um, but anyway my mom uh my mom's school a school teacher so they're really really picky about who they let in the classrooms um and the school knows me i mean i grew up at that school literally grew up at that school um, but they, and I know that they trust Chelsea, they like Chelsea, they actually really do like Chelsea the few times that they have met her. But at the same time, it's just one of those things where you don't want to let, um, just, you know, people in the classrooms. Like, they don't even really want me to go into the classrooms, uh, to visit my mom. Sorry. But it's the reason I really don't ever go in there. It's just, I mean, because stuff happens. I mean, there's been school students and stuff like that, and... You know, it's just, it, it's so, um, the very small bad people in the world that do this stupid stuff are the ones who ruin it for the rest of us. So, I don't really mind it. I'm not, like, making fun of their rules. I'm not saying that their rules are stupid or anything. I'm just saying I completely understand their rules, and it is, um, perfectly understandable. And I just passed a cop, and I don't have my seatbelt on. And hopefully he's not going to be a dick on Valentine's Day and pull me over for a seatbelt ticket. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm almost out of school, so I'm gonna go, um, see if I can give her her flowers. Okay, so I got mom's dropped off. She liked it. Now I'm gonna go to Chelsea's to, I'm gonna fix her mom's uh, flowers while I'm waiting, and, um, hopefully Chelsea get off work, uh, pretty soon, uh, for her break. And that way we got a little bit longer. She's got afternoon patience, so she has to be back at a certain time. No, she doesn't have afternoon patience. She's got morning patience. So we run a little bit over on our date, 
it'll be perfectly fine. Um, but anyway, I'm heading there now. Gonna see what I can do whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Did you like your Valentine's? I loved it. We don't have Roscoe with us, or her flowers, or my cake, or her card, or my card, because any bitty little tiny matchbox card. We're on the way to give her mama her flowers, and we're gonna go eat our Valentine's lunch date. That did good. You did awesome. And just letting y'all know, I always tell her what she's getting. Like, I, I can't keep secrets, but I kept Roscoe a secret. <laughs> did I keep Roscoe a secret? You did. I about shot him. I thought it was a real pup. Like, I'm like, what the heck? Like, it's a big ass black dog. And I mean, you walk in your room at night and all this lighting up your room is like, you know, the moonlight or, you know, light down the hallway or whatever. Anyway, I walked into my room and I just got done cleaning my gun. And I walk in and I see this big ass black dog staring at me. I was like, I mean, he just scared the shit out of you. Scared the crap out of me. So, I about shot him. Now he's your problem. Oh, whatever. All right, well, we're going to go give her mama these flowers, and then we're going to head on to uh, eat some Mexican. Bye, y'all. Happy V-Day. Hey, okay, guys. So, as you can tell, my top's down. And that's because it's shit. It is shot. It is so shot. So I dropped it down, I put a lot of glue in there, and I duct taped it together, and hopefully it'll work. Um, hopefully the glue will set and everything like that. But I'm going to drive to school. Um, looks like I'm going to have to hold off on the body kit and paint and get another top, because I can't drive around and get a bunch of water damage in this car because of that top shot. So I'm going to see what I can do with what I got. I'm upset about it. Honestly, I am, but it is what it is. But it'll be okay. Um, this guy trying to do it sometime in March, I guess. Hopefully, it don't rain too bad. And um, if it does rain, I can, for the most part, stick it in the garage. But I'm gonna head to school. Uh, and kind of cold outside and uh i'm in the school so i see you guys later i'm in this wonderful traffic and just to clarify i'm not upset really i mean i'm a little bummed out because i'm probably gonna have to hold off on the body um kid and the paint and stuff to get a top that won't leak because uh, this is my daily driver i need it to uh, not leak but um rear Somebody likes my car, but um, anyway, I'm not upset, I'm just kind of worn out and just thinking about everything and hoping that the weather is nice enough so it doesn't rain and I can um, not get stuck in the uh, rain with this because I mean it will leak and gonna suck if it leaks so I'm just kind of I'm not upset I'm just thinking deeply about uh, strategies to avoid having my car smell like freaking mold but, uh, I'm about almost in class I'm in this video I know it's been a super long video but um I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to clarify it. I'm not upset. I'm just thinking a lot. But I'm on my way to probably the least favorite of my classes, which is physics. I hate this guy. I openly hate this guy. And I call him King Dipshit because I hate him so much. Um, he looks like Mr. Garrison from South Park, too. But it's not that I hate him or I hate the subject. I do just hate him. I mean, it's not like I hate the subject or hate him because he teaches the subject. I hate him because you ask him a question. He does, well, if we do it my way, we're going to get the right answer. If we do it your way, which is the wrong way, I'm like, okay, then what would be the 
right way. Oh, you want to know my way? Okay, well, my way. And I'm like, I didn't ask all this. I just, I want, I want some help. You know, I don't understand it. Help me out. You're a teacher. You're supposed to help me. No. Nope. Okay. Don't like you. Fuck you. But anyway, I'm gonna go to class. I'm stuck in this traffic, and um, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'll uh, see y'all Thursday.